Yeah, welcome to this video. And I'm playing a pretty well-known Grandmaster, Nick de Fermian. This is uh, really a rare guest in five minutes, yes? I don't think I ever played him. Let's uh, briefly check this. I played a couple of five minute games, but I never played him. This is this is curious. Okay, <clears throat> so we have a Ruilo Pass, the tried and tested main line. And um, he's for some reason not playing C3. Now he does. Okay, and I'm playing my Chigorin. My main um, advantage <laughs> is um, this kind of line that I've played it so often. <coughs> <coughs> ah, I'm sorry. And I played it so often that I really um, have some idea what to do. Okay, so it's a bit different. He played a um, slightly unusual move order. Okay, so I'll just allow this transposition. I have a um, rather complicated looking plan in mind. A5 is... Um, A5... A5 is a strange move. Okay, I'll play B4. If he goes C4, I just pick up the pawn. This pawn is a potential weakness. Yeah, Grandmaster de Fermin, he um, is a long time veteran um, GM. Um, let's see. Intend to. Hey, he's giving me C3, but maybe he wants to take knight f takes e5. Interesting. Interesting idea. Uh, I don't know. I could. Yeah, knight f takes e5. This could be a, an idea. Takes and d6. Mm. Yeah, but I'm not sure if it is really such a problem. Yeah, all this is slightly weird. Let's see what happens. I'm <clears throat> just trying to, to pick up the pawn. I will, I will manage, but um, it's not clear that it leads to such a great position. Hmm. Yeah, I can take, take a5. He will play... Um, <clears throat> he cannot play the rook at the moment. Okay. <clears throat> ah, he can take with the rook actually, not with the pawn. This was stupid. Yeah, I simply forgot that you can take with the rook. And this also should lead to a good position for white. Yeah, this was silly. Yeah, I just forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, this just <clears throat> anticipates B4. Yeah. Yeah, very silly. Okay, but <clears throat> it's still a very, a very um, closed position. So I'm not necessarily um, in terrible shape. Queen d8 was uh, intending this to exchange of this bishop. Yeah, knight e3 prevented that. I can go knight h5 to f4, at least um, get this into the mix. Yeah, <clears throat> intending h4. He has to play h4 himself now. <clears throat> 
uh, maybe knight knight somewhere but <clears throat> h4 is something that he would like to prevent i guess Yeah, I'm not in such a bad shape here. I completely <coughs> misplayed this uh, on the queen side, but somehow it's not. <laughs> yeah, well, h4 was was simple and good. This is just too strange. Why would you allow that? This just gives me a good position. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Sometimes um, you come across um, very strong players um, on, on paper. He's rated like 2-5 something in, uh, in regular time controls. But um, somehow they have completely different ideas about chess than you have. It, it sometimes just happens. With um, this guy, <clears throat> he regularly uh, does... Um, yeah, um, works as um, a commentator for ICC for um, for Grandmaster tournaments, and I never really get what he's saying. <laughs> for some reason, it's, it seems that we have completely opposite ideas about about the game. Um, yeah, I, I didn't understand any of this. Okay, but um, he um, just saying that. Um, He's closing up the king side. I should have taken on g um, on g3 before. Would have been um, much better. Now this um, position is um, rather closed. And a6, of course, is um, is hanging. Check. Yeah, this was stupid. <clears throat> okay, I can still try to get um, some play here, advancing pieces towards the king, but um, objectively um, this is uh, not great at all. Okay, yeah, this knight is a, a very sad piece. Yeah, difficult to to get any any sort of counterplay here. Queen f6 is a6. Yeah, <clears throat> it's just bad. Yeah, white is white is just um, just clearly better. There's more than one way to play. <clears throat> Just trying to to activate and uh, dislodge some pieces from the king. Don't have any any concrete idea, unfortunately. This could have been could have been even worse, I guess. It's still very bad, but <laughs> time warning. Oh, I just blundered the queen. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Yeah, okay. Black resigns. Oops. Yeah, okay, it's uh, 
it's probably lost anyway. No, bishop e5 is just a draw. <laughs> yeah, this is just, yeah, very obviously. Look at this. And uh, now I don't have any problems. Oh my. Yeah, probably even would have won this. It's just much more comfortable for black. Okay, but of course I was I was just uh, just dead before. He just needs to take um, or queen c7 here. Yeah. Queen c7 wins. Yeah, I completely screwed up on the king side uh, on the queen side first, and then uh, I forgot to take on g3. I simply here I need to take here Check. first. And, and then this one. Uh, this isn't completely clear why it is better, but I have some I have some play like this. He needs to be needs to be cautious. Cannot play like any move and win. But okay, I I have um, I had really completely forgotten that after the capture on c4 here here uh, here there's not so much going on really, and I I just forgot that he can take with the rook. Uh, bishop c4 is just stupid. I thought he would take here and after the capture um, He will get the a6 pawn, but it's not um, It's not so terrible So This was um, getting me into trouble and um, yeah, the, th the problem is at one point he will play b4 and um, get a6. This is just um, just quite uncomfortable. And, um, yeah, I, I, I didn't understand at all why he isn't playing h4 himself. This is just the normal move, keeping keeping a big edge, but he somehow didn't do that. And allowing h4 is just uh, just a mistake. Okay, and um, yeah, I just for forgot to take on g3 after this. It's just too slow. He will get a6 and I have no counterplay whatsoever. All right, thanks for watching.